Eric Ten Hag has been forced into a goalkeeper reshuffle at Manchester United. Manchester United could strike a deal for another goalkeeper in the January transfer window despite closing in on the signing of Jack Butland. Manager Eric Ten Hag is revamping his selection of stoppers with Martin Dubrovka's loan cut short and David De Gea nearing the end of his contract. Dubrovka headed from Newcastle to United during the summer with Nick Pope laying claim to the number one spot at St. James Park. The Slovakian failed to impress during his two Carabao Cup appearances, putting in a particularly shaky performance against Burnley just before Christmas. With prospects of game time looking slim, the Magpies have decided to cut his loan stint at Old Trafford short, leaving Ten Hag to scout out a new deputy. Reports indicate that talks are underway regarding Crystal Palace star Jack Butland and the deal could be concluded quickly. Dot. The Red Devils could yet go on to strike another goalkeeper deal in January, however, as 90 Minutes claim that the club are still interested in negotiating a pre-contract agreement with Jan Sommer. The Borussia Mönchengladbach man has long been of interest to United and he could provide real competition for De Gea's starting spot. Sommer, 34, has 80 caps for Switzerland and is into his ninth season as a regular in the German Bundesliga. With his contract into its final six months. United are at liberty to negotiate a pre-contract agreement with the Swiss before a free transfer in the summer. It remains to be seen how that would affect the pecking order at Old Trafford, particularly if Butland signs and De Gea's deal is extended. The Spaniard has made more than 500 appearances for United since joining in 2011 but the club are yet to trigger an option to extend his contract by one year. That's despite United exercising similar clauses for Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw. Diogo Dalot and Fred last month, sparking questions over De Gea's future. The 32-year-old has drawn criticism for his lack of ability with the ball at his feet and he was not selected to represent Spain at the World Cup in Qatar, falling behind Brighton's Robert Sanchez and Brentford's David Raya in the pecking order. As one of United's highest earners, the club seem to be taking their time over whether to stick or twist between the sticks.